Hello dear friends, welcome to my channel. Today's discussion is mutual inductance. Two coils of a transformer are identical with resistance R. Induct inductive L, it is must remember inductive L and mutual inductance M. Mutual inductance M and voltage E E impressed on the primary deter, deter, primary impressed on the primary so it is voltage is e okay i have already told what is mutual inductance in my short video if you want you can see the basic in mutual inductance fundament fundamental in my channel basic physics so i don't need to discuss what is mutual inductance i just want to solve this 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 problem with the help of differential equation this is the application of derivatives differential equation so the currents in the coils at any instant assuming that there are no current in either initially there is no current either initially so i1 and i2 i2 are the current flowing ampere and r L and M, R, L and M are the applied voltage drop across, across thumb of the voltage, voltage drop across. So friends, what is the Kirchhoff's rule? Kirchhoff's rule is that the, the sum of voltage drop across equals to applied voltage. So sum of sum of voltage drops voltage drop drop drops across sum of voltage drops across across r l and m equals to applied voltage applied voltage okay must remember this formula must remember this formula this is the catch up rules okay now i use this formula in here so r i1 plus a into d i1 divided by dt plus m d i2 divided by dt equals to e okay r i1 R I1 equals to A into D I1 divided by DT equals to E. This is the Kirchhoff rule and second rule, secondary is the primary circuit. This, this is primary circuit for primary because mutual conductance have two time type of, of circuit. One is primary circuit, circuit, another is secondary circuit. For secondary circuit, we, we have R I2, R I2, you see R I2 plus L into D I2 divided by DT DT plus M D I sorry it is D I2 okay D I1 D I1 divided by DT must remember friends this is the formula equals to 0 D I1 equal to divided by DT equals to 0 so friends I hope you, you will write everything please pause this video I will remove everything yes. This equations, this, this this is the two equation. This is the primary and this is the secondary. Okay. Secondary circuit. You get, okay. You get primary circuit and secondary circuit. And now this can be d by dt equal to equal to replace with d. And I just want to solve solve simultaneous equations. This equation is called. This is my one, one and two. This one and two are this one and two are the si simultaneous equations, friends. Okay, I hope it is clear. Okay, I hope it is clear for everyone. Now I need to explain this for problem. This uh, actually d by dt, d by dt can be expressed with capital 
d d by dt is equal to capital x plus value capital d so it is written as r i1 r i1 r okay r plus okay this is simplify this l r plus l d equals to i1 plus a d i2 equals to e and a d i1 plus l d plus r into md i1 ld plus r i i2 equals to 0 ok this is that i convert it into deep operation so it can write it 3 and it is 4 equation now i have to solve this problem now i eliminate i2 i just want eliminate i2 so i have to multiply I, if I want to want to eliminate I2 so I can multiply with M, MD in here I just multiply MD MD uh, and in here I multiply LD so whatever I get I get L square d square m l square m square d square d square plus 2l r d 2l r d plus r square So friends, I get I1 value. So RE the auxiliary equation. So I whatever I get L square minus M square M square M square and D square D square okay and D square plus 2L R T D square plus 2L R T R D plus R square equals to zero. This is my I have to find out auxiliary equation, friends. Differential equation, auxiliary. Okay, auxiliary equation L square minus M square plus D square two L R D equal to. So D equals to whatever I get. D equals to minus R divided by L plus M and minus R L minus M minus r a minus m so just find out just solve this problem and get this value okay m square plus it like this when we use when we find out auxiliary equation okay auxiliary equation this way you can find out so cf equals to what is my my cf means cf equals to c1 e to the power minus rt divided by l plus m okay plus c2 u into e to the power minus rt divided by l minus m okay rt minus l minus m so particular integral integral is equal to l square minus m square d square plus 2l l r d plus r square equals to e by r okay very simple particular integral integral how to find out please check my differential equations video you can understand more clearly because it is e to the power zero t okay just putting zero in place of d so it is you get e by e by r because it is r e divided by because r e divided by because my this this portion r e divided by e to the power 0 t so it is e by r now i hope is it clear friends okay yes, i find out i1 what is my i1 i1 equals to 
I1 equals to C1 e to the power minus RT divided by A plus M plus C2 e to the power minus RT divided by divided by L minus M L minus M M plus E by R because simple facts, facts simple differential equations no problem it is not so much tough very easy physics is easy physics is very easy fact friends so it is not matter but very interesting now i i i want to find out i2 equation equations of i2 so how what is my equation i2 is friends you see this is my i1 values okay and i get i2 so i2 equals to i have to find out i2 okay so i2 equals to I2 equals to just putting this value in here, okay? Putting the value of I1. So, whatever I get, minus MD divided by LD plus R into C1 e to the power minus RT divided by L plus M plus C2 e to the power minus RT divided by L minus M M. plus e by r plus e by r so friends now this is a very large calculation you will you will calculate and after that you, you can get the values e to the power minus r rt e to the power minus rt divided by l minus m okay uh, this is a calculation is your term your homework calculation is your homework because it is very easy I don't need to need to explain so much because as a time is very short c2 is equal to e to the power minus minus rt divided by l minus m so whatever you see t equals to I1 equals to I2 equals to 0 and our if you put this value so C1 equals to we, we, we C1 equals to C2 equals to minus E divided by 2R okay friends E, e divided by minus 2R so I get I2 equals to what is my I2 value I2 is equal to E divided by 2R e to the power minus rt divided by l plus m and minus e to the power minus rt divided by l minus m okay this is my i1 value i1 value i get this value i1 and i2 value value equals to okay this is a 2 is also 2 is also in here okay 2 is also in here and i2 equals to e by e by 2r e to the power minus rt divided by l minus m minus e to the power minus rt divided by l plus m okay e to e by 2r so it is 2 is in here so i can more clearly i just explain i just try to explain more clearly so what i can write friends please check my answer my i1 value and i2 value i hope it is clear for for everyone i hope it is clear for everyone because this is my total two values is this is my answer okay please write this pause 